Before 2009, the Apollo missions images that we saw were scanned from the secondary copies that NASA distributed to research facilities after each mission. Recently, in 2009, NASA made high-resolution scans from the original films and made them available to the public. On the left is an older scan of the Earthrise photo. On the right, the same photo with levels adjusted, showing the photographic paper texture. Today, we can still find older scan results. Flat Earthers like to find defects in these low-quality scans and use the fact as evidence they are just paintings. In reality, they are scanned from the printed photos, which can preserve the texture of the photo paper itself. NASA made duplicate images after each Apollo mission and distributed them to research facilities worldwide. These copies and subsequent copies of copies are what the public has seen before 2009. Because the digital scans of these copies were made by multiple independent parties, there are many different versions of the same images with varying differences in quality. The original films are stored in a freezer 24 hours a day. To use them, they are removed from the freezer and allowed to slowly warm up to room temperature for 24 hours. In 2009, NASA and Arizona State University made comprehensive scanning of these original films, like the one you see on screen, to achieve the maximum possible results. Several other organizations have also made scans of the archives as well, and they are freely available for review and analysis. For example, the Project Apollo archive on Flickr. Flat Earthers never analyze the high-resolution scans because they know these are real photographs. If you'd like more Flat Earth debunking, please subscribe and click the like button. This content was made in part by the people at flatearth.ws. Please head to their website for more of their excellent work. You can financially support them through the Patreon link on their site.